MSI sponsored our trip here to Computex 2024, and we got to check out what they're doing in the world of QD OLED monitors, as well as in their desktop environments. They've got things going on in the gaming sector, as well as for professionals, like this QB NUC that they showed off, which is eco-friendly because it's made from post-consumer recycled plastic. It's a 0.826 liter mini PC that's fitted out with an Intel V Pro setup, is DDR5 ready, has Thunderbolt 4 ports, two and a half gig LANs, makes it very versatile versatile for any environment where you need a tiny PC that can either mount behind the monitor or just get a little bit of remote client work done. And MSI is going to be selling this QB NUC either as the full system as seen there with the DDR5 RAM and SSD included, or you can get it as a bare bones kit where you bring that yourself. Or additionally, they're going to be selling the motherboard by itself in case you want to put it in your own chassis or 3D print one of your own, or hopefully in the future, MSI could potentially offer upgrades to your NUC so that you could add in a brand new mainboard as long as the form factor fits. But they also have a pro monitor line, which is actually kind of neat, not just for the specs and the aesthetics of the monitors that they have, but also the packaging. They showed us that the boxes that these monitors will come in can then be reorganized to be a cardboard origami to turn either into a little elephant that you could put your phone in or even a large giraffe that you could just have hanging out in your office. So they showed off the MP271AP. This is a 27 inch 120 hertz screen, but it has the benefits of four office users in having a built-in webcam and mic for those professional uses. And they'll also have a 25 inch version in this pro monitor lineup, as well as a 15.6 inch portable monitor too. And again, those come with the boxes that can then just be used as decoration around. And then on the gaming side, MSI also showed off their Trident AS14. This has the latest Intel 14th gen processors, but it also supports Nvidia's new SSFF Ready standard according to their guidelines so that you're getting maximal performance in the Trident form factor, which has been a staple in MSI's lineup for years. But then they also showed off a brand new white matching setup, which includes the keyboard, the mouse, and even the monitor. They showed off their MAG274URFW. This is a 4K 160 Hertz IPS monitor, but it comes in a white setup for the stand as well as the bezel. And then it matches their new MAG S3 Infinite 14th PC, which again, Again, has that SFF ready guidelines from NVIDIA, but also supports the latest Intel 14th gen processors. But now let's get into the QD OLED monitors because there was a lot going on there. One of the things that MSI was excited to tell everybody about in case you're thinking about picking up one of their QD OLED monitors is that they come with a three year warranty. So anybody who's worried about burn-in, they are promising that they have your backs on it as well as the fact that they've made some changes with their OLED Care 2.0 technology, which includes better thermal dissipation by using graphene coating, as well as various little tricks in the firmware to make sure that the panel is refreshing in such a way where it does not easily burn in. So they had a few to show off, such as their MPG341 CQPX. This is a 3440 by 1440 ultra wide setup with 240 Hertz refresh rate and 1800R curve with a display HDR true black of 400 and a clear MR rating of 13,000. And also in that MPG monitor lineup, MSI showed off what is the world's first dual mode mode curved gaming monitors. So we've been hearing a lot about these new monitors that can either have high refresh rate 4K or extreme refresh rate 1080p. And that's exactly what you get with the MPG321 CUPF. This is a 4K 160 Hertz monitor when you're trying to play AAA titles, running that on a high end graphics card, making sure that you're seeing all of the details, all of the visual fidelity in the game. They were showing off Horizon Forbidden West, but then there's an eSports mode where you can downsize the resolution down to 1080p but then that increases the refresh rate to go up to 320 Hertz. But again, this is curves, making it the first curved dual monitor out on the market by MSI. But before we get into the highest end things MSI had the offer, let's talk about the more entry level stuff they had in their MAG lineup. They showed off an MAG 271 QPX. That's a 1440p, 240 Hertz. That's coming with that three year warranty. You're getting 2K resolution at a very high refresh rate in a nice setup at 27 inches. This is like one of the perfect monitors setups for many people out there. But in case you need it slightly bigger, they did show off the MAG 321 UP. That's 4K 165 Hertz in 32 inches, which is my personal favorite size for 4K monitor, 27 inches. I think that's really great for 2K. And again, QD OLED coming out to the market. But now let's take a look at their MEG lineup. This is their extreme setup for the highest tier. So they had their MEG 321 URX QD OLED monitor. The non-AI version of this monitor, which is 4K, 
240 hertz with that QD OLED. Got European Hardware's award for the best gaming monitor. It has all of the specs that you could possibly want in a great form factor, 32 inches, 4K, one of the highest refresh rates that you can get at 4K. Again, with that high contrast that you get from OLED where the pixels turn off so you get true black levels in whatever environment you're trying to display on the monitor. But they also had AI to show off, which I know at Computex is a very common thing with a lot of different companies. But MSI's AI is built in to this 321URX monitor, which allows them to have sensing for various different games. One of the things they told us is that they showed this monitor off at CES and they got a lot of feedback that users were like, well, this could potentially be used to cheat in various different video games. And one of the things MSI wanted us to communicate about that is that they have control of the firmware and the software and the game support that's gonna be rolling out into this monitor when it finally does launch. So instead of a multiplayer game like League of Legends, which they showed off at CES, they're showing off a single player game this time around where the monitor can actually keep track of things like your ammo count. Anytime you actually use your inventory, it can use the spectrum light bar that's at the bottom of the monitor to showcase where your ammo count is for your game. And MSI can update the firmware to support various different games with various different functionality because the AI is monitoring what's happening on the screen, but they wanted us to communicate that they're not trying to put tools in the hands of cheaters to give them an unfair competitive advantage that goes around any sort of anti-cheat. This is mainly meant to be an extra helpful tool to the gamer to make the gaming experience that much more accessible via the use of AI. But right next to that AI monitor, they also had their MSI Vision X AI gaming desktop. This is intriguing for a lot of different reasons. Number one, it has the highest end specs that are out on the market. They did mention that it's not quite ready for launch yet, but when it does come out, it will support whatever the latest processor and GPU is out on the market to make sure that it's as high end as possible. But it also has a massive screen on the front, which is a touch screen that you can interact with. And it's large enough that I was thinking that, hey, for some people, you, you could use this as your main display. It's it's in portrait mode, so you'd have to work around a few things, but you can have this display that allows you to actually access your PC in a very nice setup. However, this is not a case that MSI is planning on selling. This is just gonna come as a pre-built PC with high-end components, that touchscreen on the front, and with the AI features on this one, it allows it to detect whether or not you're playing games. It can ramp up the power levels on the GPU and the CPU to make sure it's appropriate for whatever you're doing on your desktop. If you're just doing some basic word processing or web browsing, it'll sense that and then down play the power profiles to make sure that your PC is not consuming as much, but then when you're in a game, it'll ramp those up, giving all of the full power profiles to the GPU and CPU, making your gaming and work experience that much better. So that's what MSI had to show off in terms of the desktop and monitor side here at Computex 2024. Big thanks to them for sponsoring our trip out here. I'm excited to get my hands on various different things that they showed off. It's exciting to see them expand into the professional environment with the QB NUC as well as the Pro monitors with some neat designs in the boxes and then they also still have a robust gaming portfolio that should be coming out to us a little bit later this year. So that's it for our MSI coverage here at Computex 2024. We'll be back with more in our next video. See you then.